It's September 2021 and I'm high on the Dunstable Downs in Bedfordshire, about to have tea with the Tigers. Located on 600 acres of land on the ridge of Dunstable Downs, Whipsnade Zoo is the largest zoo in the UK and one of the largest wildlife conservation parks in Europe. Originally opened in 1931 by the Zoological Society of London as a conservation centre away from their central London home, the park has over time evolved from a simple zoo to an important part of ZSL's conservation works and a home for their larger animals as they've moved animals such as elephants, rhinos and hippos away from the small enclosures in London into the large fields in Bedfordshire. Due to the size of the park, guests can bring their cars in and drive round sections, or they can sit aboard the Great Whipsnade Railway and take a train ride round the largest of the enclosures, housing the Asian elephants, white rhinos and camels. The zoo runs a number of events, including helping with feeding the animals or being a keeper for the day, but the event I was taking in was a bit more exclusive. Every night, up to 18 guests can stay on site through the night in the lookout lodges and experience the zoo without anyone else around. Whilst the accommodation is compact and basic, just a small wooden hut with a bed, there's a separate loo and shower block ashore walkaway, the rooms are comfortable and very clean. You could enter the zoo at any time on the day of your stay. I chose to come in the early afternoon and explore the zoo surrounded by all the other visitors.
At half four, you can check into your lodge with a glass of bubbly and either relax in your room or choose to explore the zoo as it slowly empties of other guests. At 6pm, you reconvene back at the lodges and as the zoo closes around you, you embark on the first tour of the evening, accompanied by two experienced keepers who visited the bongos, whilst being watched on by the Patagonian Maras that roam freely across the site. Next, the keepers took us to the white rhino enclosure. Then a quick stop with the African hunting dogs before going for an evening feeding with the chimpanzees. A quick detour to the tigers before we went for our own feeding time in the restaurant. After dinner and with night having fallen, it was time to take an evening explore around the zoo to see which animals were still awake the flamingos making their presence known from some distance away. Then it was over to the cheetahs, with one was already waiting for us lying up on their heated rock. final stop of the night tour were the lions who were all lounging around in a way that they ensured it was impossible to take any photos. Then it's back to camp for bed. In the morning, after a surprisingly good shower and check out, it's time for breakfast and then the final tour of the trip, exploring the storks, a quick stop for breakfast time with the lemurs, the briefest of glimpses of the lynx, the wild boar, and the wolverine, after the brown bear decided to act like a princess and flounce off to her indoor accommodation just as we arrived. The tour ends up by the penguins, after which you're free to explore the zoo by yourself for the rest of the day. you can travel the 30 miles south and take in London Zoo as your lodge ticket is valid here on day two as well.
Whipsnade is located about two and a half miles southwest of Dunstable in Bedfordshire. There are a handful of buses Mondays to Saturdays from Dunstable, but no access by public transport on a Sunday. Dunstable itself has regular buses to Luton, which connect with Thameslink and East Midland train services to London. Buses also continue to Luton Airport, which has connections across Europe. 